Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just believe Jesus is here to bless you. Amen. 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 A new page is about to be opened in your life. Amen. When it opens, no one will know where you come from. No one knows where you're going. Amen. So those who came to confess, you go to section where they confess. Just confess and speak the truth. This is the era of confession. That's where God sets people free. Some of the things don't go until one confesses. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's now back to the church. Some of the things which don't go, they don't go because a person didn't confess. Touching the anointing of God in the wrong manner, it's trouble. Amen. So those who came to confess, you'll go that side. I'm going straight to prayer line. Just believe God is with you. God is with you.
destroying all the snakes, all the snakes in the family. Stand up. Let's live for Jesus. Killing her. She's been crying to God that I wanna leave this place forever. I want to kill her. I will kill her. She she she's too much. I can't I have to kill her. I will I will kill this girl. She's too much for me. There's a divine in there, the divine fight. Time is up. You're no more. Stand up. Let's live for Jesus. Destroy everything.
شاي اي ما احنا اي 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 All poisons out of a system, out of a system, from the whole system, all poisons must come out.
Whatever they've given to you in a dream, spiritually, even if you didn't know, today God is going to remove it. And you'll bring your testimony. In Jesus' name. Let's live for Jesus. Let him drink there. Kwa na ka, u tumilo u tui kaba ka ka abedisa nyope ka 2015 kamkwe na bulala. So na u tule pe ni mo pe long au si akam phone la arba mister spetle le aha na ba mukla ba mukla ba di trip arba mo unal di bladot. So aha nari ano nal di right si ata mai. So it's because of drug addiction. For how long has he been smoking this? Iya naga mo kwa bulala nari o to mile umbudi zetu 2015 ni maraga mo kwa nabu gandi chomi zai di bulala bar 2014. Let him drink again there. Jesus Christ is here for such people, ne? Jesus Christ is here for such people. Look at that. Jesus Christ is here for such people. Jesus Christ is here for them. God is here to set him free. So to bless him, I want you to test him after this. Ne? I want you to test him. Let God be God. Let God remain. Yeah, you can go and test him.
from Limpopo. They visited me. They want to see you, their little boys. So they wanted to see you and ask you how oh, I teach them how to feed people grass. And I cut them outside. I cut them outside oh, eating grass. So they want you to pray for them. Ona le cancer ya kidney le growth mo male le mpa ya ga e kgolo. The word of the Lord locates him right now. The word of the Lord destroys every cancer. Every cancer cell in his life is destroyed. As the centurion spoke, just say the word, my servant will healed. It is done right now. Every discomfort is gone. He has prospered in every way. His body has prospered. Just even soul is prospered in Jesus name. You can go call, call, call him now. Check how easy.
Que no le va a kidneys, so when then could you pain? What's happening with the kidneys? Que bar que kidney infection. Kidney infections. Mm. Okay. She's suffering from kidney infections and that causes her pain. What's the pain? I, huh? I think. It's gone, eh? You're free. Bless you. He's just testing a smoke. He doesn't feel it anymore. It's not like before. Uh, huh? Yes, sir. Feeling cold. Yes, Pop. Were you yes, feeling Pop. cold? Yes, Pop. Huh? Yes, Pop. Were you feeling cold? God loves you, ne? I mean, this was a worst case. Luke is normal now. Luke, you saw how he was. You can see that he's back. What's your name? Opa. Where do you come from? Bilavin. How long have you been uh, smoking cocaine? For two years. For two years. You can see he's back now, ne? Let's live for Jesus. I want you to drink again just a bit, ne? Let this Goliath be conquered completely in your life. How's the cold now? Yes, How's the cold now? How do you feel now? Huh? Now? Yeah, How do you feel now? Feel hot. You feel normal now? Yeah, normal. You feel hot now? Yes, normal. God is with you. Give him a cigarette. Where's the mother? Or Try to smoke. Try. I mean, he's back. You saw how he was, ne? Our brother has been taking heroin from the year 2015, and that caused her a problem, a heart problem. <laughs> how do you feel now? Just feel it. Like, huh? God is with you. You'll come. Yeah. Yeah. I'm normal. Yeah. Let's live for Jesus. He says that when he tried to smoke, it just feels like a smoke. Do, do you see him now? Yeah. Does it make sense? Is he back? What do you see now? Oh, we like a mouth. Huh? Huh? He, he was shaking. Mm. When he was coming, he was shaking. Mm. That's why he put a blanket. Mm. And now? Hey, you're smiling now. <laughs> huh? God is wonderful. Ne? That's why I'm saying, let's deal with this issue of drug addiction. It's everywhere, all over our country. But Jesus still came for such people to help them out. If nobody doesn't welcome you as a man of God, go to the streets and fulfill the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's save those who are in the streets. God is with you, ne? You are blessed, ne? Thank you, Papa. So come with him on Thursday. You will see more improvement. Bless you, bless you. God is with you, ne? Bless you. Let's live for Jesus.
We found him, Papa. He says he's right. He's you, you found him? Yeah. You said it's cancer. What was happening? Cancer, more kidney. And cancer on the kidneys. Yeah, and then the growth. And growth in yeah. the stomach. His stomach was big. Yep. So after we declared the word, you called he's, him? He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. It's over now. Hallelujah. Let's live for Jesus. Let's, for, let's live for Jesus. So the word of the Lord goes anywhere. There's no barrier. God is with you. You're blessed. Se <laughs> Jesus help me. I don't know something wrong that is happening. prophet. Don't worry, God loves you. Jesus came for you, Jesus came for people like you, ne? So, you are not here to be blamed, ne? You are not here to be blamed. You are here for the word of God to be fulfilled in your life, ne? God loves you. Help him. Drink for the addiction, ne? God loves you. Our brother is addicted to alcohol. When he's not drunk, he's That's a good person, but when he drinks, it changes him and changes him to a monster. Yeah, I want you guys to test him. Just test him right now. Test him. Bring the strongest alcohol. Let him be tested. And that's all is done. God is with you. Ne? God loves you. Let's love for Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Papa, Papa, said this eye does not see. Hey, li, li. Now what's happening? Ah, li, Close the other eye. Let's test. What am I doing? One. What How many? One, two, three. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Huh? Let's go, Pastor. You could not see with it. Only little driver, Pastor. I get like a game with you. I get a game with you. I get a game with you. Now drive away high. Thank you, It's so simple. Do we see what God did? Huh? 
Thank you, Pastor. So your eye just opened like that. Yeah, yeah Pastor. Thank you. <laughs> you. You. Jesus. Jesus. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Neke neke chuma di aope lizol di kwa ba teke kono toga la di aope ke palo ke pa jeli di kwa. Okay, not even so. God loves you. He says that he was smoking di aope cigarettes and also dacha. He was able to stop smoking di aope, but he's still addicted to the dacha. Kiongo neke. Huh? Kiongo neke. O o sabo sabo no salati le mo ka februar ki mo la tezo overstay. Seven months overstay. Onna kumi kuku hatu kole pa. He overstayed in the country. Yeah. Oh, he overstayed and he's smoking those things. Eh. Since he came when? February. Okay. Eh, ha ha square bolle lo rota kwa. Uti le halan sere mata berle jo ekwa tuba rote unkwa. Okay, let him drink again for addiction. God loves you, ne? God loves you. Don't worry. God is with you, ne? Jesus is for you, and he will sort out everything in your life. The lady says that this is a son. He is from Botswana. He came to South Africa, and now he has overstayed in the country for seven months. He's actually staying in some shacks where he started the habit of drugs. God loves you, ne? So just test him now. Test him now. God loves you.
Finish in the mind. Finish quickly. <laughs> Demon in his body. Come on, finish. is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. How's the pain now? I feel like huh? I feel light you know. Huh? I feel light. Where's the pain? It's gone, Papa. Huh? It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Stand up. And the pain here on the groin? No? Where's the pain? Huh? Your body. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. He says he's healed. He doesn't feel the pain. Let's live for Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> Come back. Come back. How's the pain now? Huh? <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Let's live for Jesus. of a snake. Snake. Ah. Snake. I will not leave her. Snake from Limpopo. I will not 
yes. Snake from Limpopo. Yes. Huh? Yes. You've been dealing with them in Limpopo. Yes. Huh? Your time has come. No, I will not leave this girl. I remove you here and in the popo. Oh, no! I'm walking no. in that altar. There's no. another one. Here's another one. No. Come. I'm no. walking there in Limpopo. No. All the snakes. In Limpopo. Huh? What do you think? You Don't you know me? Aye. Don't you know me? Aye. Look. Listen. Huh? Don't you know me? You are too far. So you know me. So this snake in the family. Yes. I'm walking in that altar. I'm walking in that altar. I destroy in that altar. I step in that altar. I finish. I finish in that altar. No, the second time. Last time you wanted to kill her with your car. You prayed for her. You wanted to kill her with the car. Yeah, you prayed for her. And what happened? Why did you pray for her? Why? Why did you Why did I pray for him? Why? We appear anywhere, Why? anytime. Why? I'm there in the pop in the altar now. I finish in the altar. How did you know that she's coming here? Huh? That day when she, she got an accident, how did you know that she's coming here? I know everything. I know everything. Don't you know? Why are you praying for her? Don't you know? How can you pray for someone when she's in her house? In the how house. Do you know her? Huh? How do you know her? How do you know her? <laughs> she was in the house. Yeah, you prayed for her. And then? So that she doesn't die in that car. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's over. Uh, it's over. No, 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 no. Why? No. I will not leave this too. I will not. I'm taking that big giant snake <laughs> in the family. No, no. I deal with it now. Nobody will kill me. We killed the father. You killed the and father. He's still with us. Uh -huh. Nobody will ever do us anything. Uh -huh. Yes. We are using his father. Your time we is up. Your time is up. No. Your time is up. No, 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 no. 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 How can she work at me, the municipality? Our kids are suffering, they are not working. She's working at the municipality. How? 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 Why are you going to do that? Take out everything. Wherever you are, I'm with you. With the presence of my father, I'm with you. So wherever you are, nothing will ever hinder you. Nothing will ever kill you on the way. The angels of God are with you. separate you from this evil from this evil snake I separate you even what they give you in a dream even what they gave you in a dream what they gave you in a dream yeah. listen we killed her vision she doesn't see anything when she's sleeping we took the vision yes oh. I'm here to restore four times four times The time is up in Jesus' name.
What do you want? One, two, three. Why? Come on, quickly. The time is up. In the Tell them to leave me so that I can go. Where am I? Why should I go? Just kill me once. Aye, aye. Right in that altar. I destroy you. I will never leave them. You'd rather kill me. Your time is up. You're dead. You're dead already. You're dead already. Your time is up. Your time is up. You are dead already. Your time is up. All evil snakes in the family, you are no more. Take out. The spirit that was in your father is now going out completely. The spirit that was in your father, now remove the spirit that was in your father. And now remove it. So it makes them all to be like men. Remove that spirit. The Apostle Paul says we are not unaware of the devil's schemes. I'm here. Where? Yeah, yeah, you don't. I'm here. Hey. Oh. I'm here. No. Oh. Oh. I'm here. Oh, yeah. I'm no. Hey. Hachi. Hachi. I'm finishing your completion. Ha. Yo, 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 yo. Let me leave here. But you think I will leave such a wise girl? Ha! 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 Ha!
Pujar mo turban na yari ano kaulo lo ko. Kurban niya ano nasu? Aswar kini turban na we. I've had enough, let me leave. Is up. Yeah. Your time is up. Finish completely. Finish completely. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. You have been a liar from the beginning. I'm coming out. Let me leave, please, please, please. Yeah, you run away. Let's walk. Let's walk. I'm going to go to my rabble. Reduce the fire so that I can go. is up. It is done. Your time is up. You shall never come to this body again. This is not the temple of the Holy Ghost. Everyone suffering with this snake issue, I declare today, no more in your life. Whatever they've been stolen, whatever stolen in your life, 
must come back in a form of restoration. No matter what. In a form of restoration, I give back. is done in Jesus name stand up stand up stand up God loves you eh? come stand up God loves you come come don't run away come God loves you don't run away don't be scared of me God loves you God loves you both of you eh? God loves you expect your breakthrough expect your restoration eh? God loves you Take the anointing oil. Use this anointing oil. Eh? God is with you. Eh? Look. <laughs> yeah, you can take another one now. You can take it. God is with you. God loves you. You can take it now. You can take it. Take it. God is with you. Take it. God is with you. You can use it in your house. You begin to see the mystery. Ne? God is with you. Thank you. What's your name? Stefina. Stefina, ne? Yes. God loves you. Just thank your sister for bringing you here. Ne? You're thank blessed. You. God loves you. God loves you.
they, we just tasted our brothers here. They say they don't feel like they are smoking. It's now tasteless. It's not tasteless. It's not. You're the one from Botswana, no? Yeah. And then you're from? From Free State, Valapum. From Free State. Where is your mother and your sister? You said what happened when he drinks? He fights a lot when he drinks. Oh. Yeah, drink again or we'll test you now. Yeah, you can test them quickly. Start with this one. What's happening now? Are you too hard? Huh? Are you too hard? It's yeah. tasteless. Are you trying next? Mm. Yeah, give him to drink. Give him to drink. Don't hug him now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try to drink. What's happening now? There's a burning sensation on yeah, my chest. I saw him before. Uh, 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 huh? uh, 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 it does not taste nice at all. Uh, uh, You're free. Let's clap for Jesus. You're free. Let's clap for Jesus. You bring him for testimony again. Eh? Let's clap for Jesus. Next. Right. What's happening? It's, it's tasteless. It's tasteless. Yeah. You're free. God is with you. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. You bring your testimony again. Continue to kiss her. Yeah. How do you kiss her? <laughs> we'll kiss her. How, do How you... can she expose us like that? <laughs> How can she expose you? I guess she came and confessed. We're coming. <laughs> Speak louder, repeat. She came and confessed. She came and confessed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we'll kiss her. What are your titles? We are kissing her. We are the pastors. You are who? Pastors. So you're the pastors? Yeah. So because she's no longer with you, you send kisses? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why do you send kisses? <laughs> Why should he have to make it? Huh? She will never make it in life. She will never make it in life. Why did she join you? Why? Why did she join you? Why did you allow her? <laughs> Why? Why must I not allow her? <laughs> Continue to kiss her. Huh? She will never. She will never. Never, never, ever. <laughs> Your spirit that entered with attachment. Your spirit entered with attachment. Your spirit that shares with other people. Get out. Get out. Get out. Your spirit of attachment. No. You who share with other people. No, 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 no. You pray for them, you share with them. No, 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 no. We'll continue to pray for them. We'll continue to pray for them. And we'll kiss them. What happens when you pray for them? Kiss, kiss. What happens when you pray for them? What happens when you pray for them? We, we leave them with, with curses. You leave them with what? With curses. So when you pray for them, you leave them with curses. Yeah. So you give them attachment. Yeah. And whenever you're removing it, <laughs> purity. What is that, Mara? What is what? What's wrong with you? What's what? Purity, purity. What is purity? What is purity? Do you know what purity is? 
What is sir, it? Sir. You know better. What is it? You are cleaning them. You are cleaning them. You are cleaning them. <laughs> okay, I'm cleansing here as well. Time is up with all your attachments. Your time is up. Your time is up with all your attachments. You, are, you want to destroy our ministry now? I destroy everything. Oh. Why should she make it? This one, this one, the whole family. Poverty, poverty. That's what they know. is up. Your time is up. Those who have been prayed for with attachments, I declare, I disconnect you, I cleanse you from that evil. If they shared with you, we remove it. Stand up. You're free. Let's live for Jesus. God loves you. God loves you. You're free. Ne? Let's live for Jesus Christ. Let's go into confessions. Say, so I love you, Jesus. Let's love Jesus. I declare you all blessed. Okay. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. My name is Isodi Tebe. I'm from, I'm from Velkom in Free State. I'm here to confess concerning the bad connection and how I was disobedient to my father in the Lord. 
how I, how I was disobedient to him concerning every commands that he, 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 he instructed me to do. It all started from 2014 when, when I started fellowshipping here. I was, I was involved with, the, with, the, with the one of the daughters here. We, we, we got married and the man of God, my father in the Lord, he was the one who, who, who joined us together. Until last year when we, the things were begin, beginning to be, to be difficult for both of us and then we end up fighting. And then we, I, I came here to, to see my father concerning that. And then he told me that I must come with her and then so that we can meet. And then immediately when I came here and meet him, he gave us the, the scriptures so that we may read. And then he told me that I must not go and, and preach and do anything. And then immediately when I lived here, I went somewhere and then I preached there without, without, telling, him, without telling him that I must... That, that I'm, I'm going there to preach. And then after that, what happens, I had a, I had a vision whereby I was saving here in, in church. And during the week, I came again to church. And then I told my father in the Lord concerning the vision. And then he told me that I must come with the, with the lady because now every time when I used to come to church, I used to come alone. And then immediately when I come to, with, the, with the lady to church, we were sitting there and then... The lady, he told the man of God that I went to, to, to go and preach somewhere. And from there, the man of God told me that, you see, you don't listen to me. I told you that you must not go and preach. And then he went there. And then from there, he told me that, you know, you, you must deal with your character or else you are not going to go any further with anything when it comes to the will of God because you must listen to everything that I told you to do. And I, I'm here to confess concerning that, concerning that, and then after that, I, 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 I left with the lady that I was involved with, and we, 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 we started living together, and then everything was fine. The things were, 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 were complicated when we were, during the end of the month, because now I was, I was not working during that time, and I was, I was staying with her, because now we were married together. And then when the things went, were bad, he, he, it, she, she, she left and then she went home to, to where she was staying and then I, she left me alone. And then all this time I, I came here to church alone, alone, until, until again I came to men of God and tell him about everything, what is happening. And then he, she told me that, you know what, I cannot do anything to you until you and your, your, your wife, you sort out of things together or else... Forget about, forget about the will of God because now there's no way that you can save God, both of you, if you are not, you are, you, you are, you, you are not doing the things in the right way. Until I, I left here in where I was staying in Hilbron, I went to, to Velcom. And then immediately when I was in Velcom, we started to communicate. And when I was in Velcom, I began to, to start to, to serve in this other church where I was saving there, and I went there to preach, while again I did not tell a man of God that I'm going there to preach, and this is one of the things that I, I, I'm, I'm here to confess and say that, Father, may you please forgive me for that again. And then, when I was in, in Velcom, the lady used to communicate with me, and things were fine, until I came again here to, to testify concerning the work of the, of, 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 of the Lord that I was doing in that side. And I, 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 didn't know, I did not go to the man of God and tell him that, no, I, I did a mistake by going and saving or starting a ministry without, without you giving me an approval to do so. And then immediately when I came here, I came, it was in all night prayer. Immediately when I came here, I testified concerning everything and then I lived, only to find out that the lady, she, she was not even in church. And then things began to be worse after that. To such a point that he even told me that no, we are no longer communicating, nothing is happening between us. What is the use of saying that we are together if we are no longer communicating? And then I told him that no, you are free to do anything that you want to do because now every time when, when we are when we are together, we are always fighting. You are always fighting. You are always telling me about money, or when I'm going to pay the Lord, or when I'm going to do this. And you can see that I'm not working, I'm not doing anything. I just want to serve God and I believe that God will provide for anything. Until he, he started to tell me that he went to, to, to home affairs concerning the divorce papers. 
So he wants to send the, the divorce to that side, and then he asked me for, I mean, she asked me for the, for, for the addresses. And then I told her that, no, you can, I give, I, I send her my, my addresses, and I told her, no, if you, if you really want to do the whole thing with, with the divorce, you can go ahead. And then only to find that she did not have money because they wanted money there to, 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 for, for the, I don't know whether they call it a sheriff to, to transfer the papers to, to free state, they wanted money there. Until I told her that, and, until me, I come to this site and met with the men of God before we, we, can, we can settle everything together. And then on, during the week, I called her and I told her that I'm coming on Friday and let us meet in church if here we have concluded that both of us, we are, we are no longer continuing with the, with the marriage so that we can go to a man of God and decide that, you know, we, we, have, we have reached a conclusion of saying that we are, we are going to divorce. And then she told me that, you no, know, he came here to, I mean, she came here to church to confess everything. So when it comes to that, I'm, uh, I'm on my own. So I can come and meet the man of God, but then he wants to continue with the divorce. And then yesterday I met. I came here yesterday. I met with her in in, in where I'm, I'm staying in in, uh, in Hillbron. And then she 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 even suggested that, that no, this is this thing is simple. We can just meet and then go. I, I can go, I just go to her home and then send the papers. And on fr on Monday he can go to home office and settle everything. And then I told her no no no. I cannot do anything without going to the to, to the man of God because I believe that he's my father in the Lord, irrespectively what I have did in the past by doing everything according to how I how I wished it was best for me. And then I told and I told her that no, I will tell you everything on Monday because now I have to hear from my father because he was the one who who joined us and I believe that it was the approval of God for for him to 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 join us as a as a as a, as a married couple. And I'm here to, to, to concern, concerning that because now everything in my life is concerning the, the, the will of God because I was supposed to start uh, saving God a long time ago. But the issue was, it was between me and her because now all the time we used to fight together. We used to have a misunderstanding. And then when I come here and tell the man of God about everything, he used to tell me, you people sort out your issues or else you are causing a delay between the two between between the both of you, there, is, there, there, there will never be any progress if you don't do what is right. Until until now, I only found out that she came here to confess everything, saying that uh, she entered into the marriage knowing that the marriage is, it was not from God. She, everything was uh, it was in line with the earthly desires. So I'm here to say that, Father, may you please forgive me for everything that I have done wrong by disobeying you and by doing as I please, knowing that I must, I must come to you and ask, uh, I mean, ask for, for a permission from you first so that I, I can know that whenever that I do anything, my father from above has approved everything. And concerning the issue of a marriage, I don't know, I'm not going to try to do anything or to say anything. You are the only one who can instruct me what to do concerning the issue of saying that if we continue with the divorce, I should go and sign the papers. May you please forgive me. I know that I have done something, things which are wrong in the past by disobeying you. And during the time when you, I was with you, with her, the time when you were counseling us, I just left and then I, 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 lived, I lived to you with her. And it, it was a sign of saying that I, I, I was disobeying you during that time. And you told me that I should go and sort out my issues concerning the pride. And I believe that I'm, I'm, I'm now humble and I believe that I... I I confess everything. I confess everything. May you please forgive me because I believe that you are the only father that God has approved to, to nurture me when it comes to the will of God. And again, the last one, there's a church that I'm fellowshipping in, in Velkom. So in that church, the man of God, he has, he has appointed me to, to, to lead the intercession. So I don't know whether it's, it's a right thing or it's a wrong thing. So if it is a right thing, May you please approve it. But if it's the wrong thing, I will tell the man of God that I have met because I told, her, I told him that I'm coming here. So if it is the wrong thing, I will tell the man of God that no, my father has told me that I should stop saving there and continually be obedient to everything. You still need to go back to square one. You know, you need to go back to square one. Going back to square one is to come back and submit and be obedient because the spirit still troubles you. You get it? Yes. Pride was ruling you. Pride. A lot of pride. 
So I'll still see you with her, but there's still a lot of pride. You have to come and be pruned. Be corrected a lot in your life. You could have been far. You could have been equal to other sons now. But you were busy playing, not following the instructions. When Jesus was sending his disciples to Matthew 10, he sent them out with instructions, but not even a single instruction you honored here. Now, because there's a lot of pressure, now you see that it's important that you must come. All because of pressure. Now you come with it, and that's how God will help you. You come together, and we'll take it from there. Come with her Tuesday. I said, come with her. It doesn't matter when. Because I, I, I can't pass, I'm no longer staying here. I'm staying in Velcro. No matter where you stay, you need to come with her. Okay. okay. So may you please forgive me for everything. That's why I'm you could have been very far, but because you were doing things according to your mind. But look now, because of pressure, now you decide to come. Because you see nothing. It's like no ministry now. It's like no, there's no way you're going now. Now, because of pressure, you want to come. You're not the only one. Remember two weeks ago when I said, God showed me a lot of sons. I know who's struggling now. I know who's still being tormented with dreams and visions. I know who now. You're one of them. You know. You are one of them. And you know those dreams. You know those dreams. And you don't confess them now. You don't go, you come to confess by doing it. You are one of them that God showed me. That look at him. Because many of them, God showed me spirit of rebellion in them. Because you come, you look for anointing, but you don't want the instructor, Christ himself. You don't want to go according to the command. You are one of them. Forgive me, my huh? Forgive me. Why don't you mention that? Because in dreams, you know. Okay. You'll come with it. Ah! There are many, and you go, you pray for people with such spirits. So many attachments you give to people. As long as an A is a child, does not differ with a slave. As long as an A is a child, does not differ with a, a slave. So how can a slave go and minister to people? The fixed date of the father must come. And some people think we are oppressing them. Stand up. Go, you'll bring her. Ne? That's how God will forgive you. Ne? Grace is still with you. That's why I'm saying you're one of them. I love you, Pastor. Please. I love now you love me. Uh, oh. You know, I had this vision whereby we were in the bush. Now you begin to talk now. And, and you didn't confess them now. Sorry, Pastor. We are in the sorry, bush. <laughs> we are in the bush. And you were, you were teaching little children there. But you were not holding the Bible, but it was dark, but where you were staying, there was a light. And then you begin to say that everyone who comes out of this bush, he will be strange. He will be strange. And then you said, this is how we are going to pray. Our Father who are in heaven, in the name of Lesoho Daniel. Ah, ah. And then everyone was flying there. I was there, I was like, do, 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 do. This is my Father in the Lord. What about you? Me? I was flying also. <laughs> So go, ne? do what is right. Many pray. like you, they have to swallow pride and come and sit. That's how God will help them. Because they are suffering in their ministries now. They are suffering. They were trained here and now they begin to do their own things. I love you too. Go. <laughs> Next. <laughs> My name is Lebumbi Tlobo. I am from Tlaban. 
but reside somewhere in zone one Karanguku, zone 50. My confession is about offense, bad connection, and disobedience. Where I am working, I'm working with people with different religion. And those people would make some funny comments. They like when we are sitting around. Maybe they would bring cool drinks and then we start to share. And when we drink and you will hear some funny comments. Like, don't drink this as if you are drinking petrol. So, they don't even believe in the anointing of this house, and therefore they criticize the anointing of my father and his son. I thought I wasn't offended, but when I'm alone, I feel like I'm annoyed by those comments, and they cause offense. And I'm wrongly connected to the people that I love, my family, my siblings. I love them. But there's a distance between me and them because they don't believe in what I believe. They still follow ancestors, ancestral things and worship them and idols. And when I try to talk to them about that, telling them to repent and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they don't want to. And they tell me time is not yet arrived for them. So the first one, my elder sister, would tell me, I don't believe in pastors. I don't believe in prayer. I don't believe in God. And this thing hurts me. And she's no longer waking, and she is sick. Therefore, I always have to fend for them, feed them. And sometimes they would ask something for me and then I wouldn't give them. And after that, I would feel so bad about it. My other one sister, my other one, the second one, she went out to become initiated as a Sangoma. And that did not sit well with me, as I had a bad experience with them. She doesn't want to hear anything about being born again. And she tells him, me that she has a calling. And this thing does not sit well with me. I don't approve them. My other sister, I love her so much. But she is also rebellious, doesn't want to listen. She believes she's got a calling. And every time I talk to her, she will tell me, that man from the water was here. She wants her to come down to be initiated as a Sangoma. So all these things, Papa, it's bad connection to me, yet it's coming from the people that I love. And therefore, my heart is heavily laden about them. And one other thing that I do, because of these wrong connections, I also become disobedient. Papa would come to me and tell me to put aside some of the money to finish up what I've started. And I didn't do it. Instead, 
I went out on a shopping spree to buy what I wanted and not putting aside the money for what Papa told me to do. That is disobedience, Papa, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me for that. But I promise I will do that according to the plan. All these things have affected me. My sisters, all three of them are no longer working. They are sick. The younger one is in and out of hospital, operations after operations. And I tell her, you have to repent and come to the Lord and all shall be well with you, with her. But she tells me to wait. So, Papa, I would like my disobedience to you and the wrong connections that have caused me problems too. I'm afflicted. I'm coughing. It started early this year. Doesn't get well. I took a lot of medications. I even went to the doctor. She sent me to a scan. And this x-rays, they don't see anything. They can't diagnose, they can't see any problem. And still, I sometimes have these headaches. And usually I'm not a person who gets a headache, a light, minor headache. And my mind is contaminated because of people that I usually find myself around family, at work. I only become okay when I'm at my place where I'm renting a room. Because there I am alone. My family, my wife stays and children are in Rustenburg. This thing also annoys me because I'm now married but live as if I'm not married because of loneliness. And at times, I would think like living or looking for a job that side, but I can't get it because of now there are no vacancies. Now, my mind is contaminated. At times I would think, I would see a woman and start, my mind start to run around, think this and that, or appreciate or see the beauty in her, and I don't, I don't appreciate it, I don't like that. So, please, Papa, forgive me for that, and restore my health. Also, I also got the sinuses, and then I forget easily. So, please, Papa, forgive me for being disobedient, and for being wrongly um, connected. And these things affect me. I can't do my job properly here in church. I forget. I struggle to do what I'm supposed to do. Please forgive me, Papa. I'm sorry. And restore my health. God loves you. True confession brings healing, brings deliverance. How are your sinuses now? I can't feel them now. You can't feel them. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. True confession gone. brings healing, brings deliverance. You don't feel anything now. I don't feel anything. The now. headache. Just a late one. No. How's the pain now? I'm fine. I don't feel anything now. It's gone. It's gone. You don't feel sinuses. The headache is gone. The headache is gone. Yeah? True confession. That's why if you don't confess, no matter what you go through, no, you can go for prayers. You go for, there's a thing which remains in you. Just go and do according to the command. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name. Go and do what you're supposed to do. Let's live for Jesus.
Can you come to the next person and then she'll come later. Let's go to the next. Next. I'm greeting in the name of Jesus Christ Church. Uh, my name is Kekana JL, Kekana Jacob Lipulan. I'm from Lewahomu, but um, I'm staying at the, the next location around at Motutu. Uh, my confession is I'm working just uh, around bread whereby we used to sit with the, the colleagues whereby we uh, uh, spiritually uplift each other, like we discuss what, we, what happened uh, about our spirituality. And then sometimes I, I get angry when some of the colleagues are talking bad about uh, my, my pastor, because uh, I love my pastor uh, a lot from since I was from Limpop. So some of the people will say that they don't like my pastor and then that causes me to be angered. Uh, and I, I, I'm asking for a forgiveness for that. And the results of that, uh, after that the results, I found that my life is just complicated. Uh, 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 financially, I, I'm not okay. As I was also a, pa a, a partner in the church, in this church. Uh, and then uh, the, 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 the happened to, uh, that I, I changed the banking de details, moving from one bank to, to another, and then I lost my partnership. And that also causes a, a problem, even financially, I am not okay. And uh, what happened to, to my colleagues, I saw that some of them, uh, you find that uh, they lost the, the parents. One of them nearly lost the parents and the other one lost the parents. That I think is the, the results of what happened. And then again, uh, last time I used to bring these boys who are addicted in drugs. Last time I brought the other one here, uh, we successfully, he was delivered. And then last, last time I, I brought another two boys from, uh, who are addicted for Nyaobe. And then I, uh, it was on Saturday. Then I tried to, 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 to drop here at the church because I was not okay by, by then. Uh, I, I, I tried to, 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 to leave them here at the church. They said, no, they are hang, hang, uh, hungry. I bought them some food, and then I said them, uh, you, you, you stay here, and then the pastor will deliver you. I will come later and come and collect you. And then they, they deny that. They say, no, you can't come back. Then I end up taking them away. That's, that's, that's what I'm asking for. Uh, forgiveness from my pastor. God is with you. Ne? God is with you. You are forgiven from offense and wrong connection. Every demon, every spirit raised offense. You are no more. In Jesus' name, I forgive you. You are forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Um, I greet you, Papa, in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is I'm also a minister of the gospel. My confession is concerning disobedience as the minister of the gospel because uh, what I know is that I received the anointing from Papa through watching him from uh, 2012 and then the anointing came upon my life and then after I was fired from where uh, I was attending church too, uh, my confession is about uh, disobedience because uh, I know that the anointing that I'm operating with is from Raboni, 
but I was sending tithe somewhere else. Um, again, is that as a minister of the gospel, I heard the message of Papa concerning bad connection and also purity. But as a minister of the gospel, I only uh, took out some money for Lowola, but I didn't finish. And I'm living with that woman in the house. So now that thing has affected me because we are always fighting in the house because of, I understand that this is disobedience. I, I did not, I, I did not, I did not uh, obey the word of God concerning purity. And also, uh, I did not obey the word of God concerning tithe. So even if I know that people are testifying, they are doing things from here, but I send the tithe somewhere. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you in Jesus' name. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Next. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Millicent Seromo. I'm from Soshanguve. My confession is about bad connection, uh, wrong attachment, spirit of lust, and fornication. And the other one is comparing other men of God when they preach to Baba. The, um, like, as I was church hoping the other time, I used to attend a church in Pretoria City. So there was this man of God who was coming in the city. So he, in the church, most of the people were students. So that man of God asked me to, he asked me, where am I working? So I told him. So he said to me, uh, next time when he comes to Pretoria, I should be the one who will be paying for the accommodation, the wall that they were using. So as I was, I was ready to do it that time, but in that time he was also preparing to get married. So the problem came when he said to me, I need to deposit the money for the wall into his personal account. Then I didn't do so. So that same, I, I, don't, I don't remember well, I, do, I think it's that same day he sent me a WhatsApp message and saying, I saw the money coming into my bank account. I thought it was you who deposited the money. So I said to him, no, I didn't deposit anything into your account. So he got angry towards me and then he started saying bad things or like he was quoting scriptures. I also quoted scriptures towards him. I remember I quoted Psalm 46 verse 10 whereby I said, the Lord says, be still and know that I am the Lord. Because I was, I was also angry towards him saying what kind, of, what kind of a man of God is he who is pushing a person to give money to him because he was going to be married and, and I was thinking he wanted to use my money to, uh, towards his personal things. So uh, that also affected me a lot up until to a point that I told my son and my son asked me to stop talking to him. The other one was, while I was attending another church around Pretoria, this man of God said to me, I have a generational case of not getting married. So he said, as I was turning 44 last year, I needed to give him uh, 4,400. That money will be representing my age. So 
like that also was, I felt bad about that. I didn't do it. So every time when I went to the church, he got angry towards me. He, uh, he would, uh, the other day when I went one-on-one -on -one with him, he asked me, did you bring the money? And I said, no. So he got angry again. And then he said, up until you bring in the money, nothing. I don't want to talk to you. You know now I want to make your son rich because the other time he said to my son, he prophesied to my son, he said my son is going to be rich so he need to register for a company. My son did register for a company but that didn't succeed also. The other bad, uh, bad, uh, bad connection that I'm having is at my workplace when people like talking about they normally watch on TV when people are confessing and they will talk and I will feel bad about that and that is also affecting me. Uh, man of God, I need you to pray for me because now my life is stuck. I'm trying to sell my house. Uh, people are coming to view the house but no one is coming to buy the house. I'm facing a serious stagnation. I'm also approved to go and study next year. I got study leave from work, but not, like now I have this serious mental block. Even my dreams, I don't dream anymore, or I dream bad things. I don't, normally I used to dream things that will come, like I will dream, normal things that will happen, but now my dreams are gone or I will only dream bad things or scary things. I need your forgiveness. I'm asking God to forgive me. Maybe if there is something that I forgot, I need God to forgive me. I don't want to be badly connected anymore or again like taking some treatment that is not mine from work. I need forgiveness from work from God. God loves you. You are forgiven from wrong connection and offense. I forgive you. You are forgiven in Jesus' name. You are forgiven. God is with you. Let's clap for Jesus. My name is Ntibile Mutsie from Botswana. Uh, I want to confess about wrong connection and offense. Uh, the previous church where I used to attend, there is a prophet there who actually chased out one of the pastors who was serving in that ministry. And then after they chased him out, they would swear at him and call him to come and sign for them so that they would be able to withdraw money at the bank since he was the one registered in their bank account. So so I was even talking about it and asking why is it that they continue asking him to come help them to sign for the money, yet they mistreat him and they don't want him to come back to the ministry. In that church, we were the intercessors and deacons. The man of God would say we should pray for people, 
But I would say, how am I going to pray for people because I don't even see anything? Which spirit am I going to cut out? You will say, ask the Holy Spirit, and I would say, I don't know how to ask. One of the brethren was getting married and then we had to contribute money for the wedding. So then I took out money contributing for the wedding and also for the church as well. Then the man of God said that I gave little money. Sometimes even the people who were getting married would complain that uh, it's only some other people who were getting helped from the church. Then the man of God came to me saying that I'm spreading a rumor that he's a thief and that he has stolen the money. So he said that the money that people had given for the church, he used it for his own things. I was so hurt because the man of God was actually apologizing to me. So, ko ke bere kanteng, ke bere kala uso mungo ya. E ko na le kalanda ya papa le soko mo le bote. Where I work, I work with another lady, and I've got a Raboni calendar there in my office. In the morning when I go to work, I found that she had put the calendar on, the, on top of the table and said, I don't like this man of yours. You must remove this calendar from my behind. Then the others were asking, who is this man? Is this the same man of the grass? Go and take grass from outside and eat. So it really hurt me a lot. So it and also the other issue is that the man of God there would uh, instruct other men of God to come and pray for us and I didn't like that. So then he would say to me that I don't listen to him when he speaks. Then I responded to him by saying that the problem is that after being prayed for by these people, my things don't go well. I ended up seeing some strange uh, uh, dreams and then I told him that I want to leave the church. So the man of God started praying dangerous prayers against me. You would send back arrows back to sender. Then after I left that church, I went to attend in one of the churches uh, which is led by one of uh, Pastor Lesiho's sons. It was okay at first when I went there, he was actually encouraging other men of God. 
ebe ke ha ngwe ke ipelela re ngwe ke ke gore ke ke rata go seka seka batho kana ke na le go itshogomosa ebe ke hela hela ke dumela hela gore ba nna ba rapela mela ke sa rate taba ya teng I felt as if I was proud or that I was judging people. Ah, o meno mona mo dimo a ko kere ke yanta ne ro so ko go yone. Ha a sana a bolela gore ri to hutse ga rona ba ri dileng mo kere ke nya gagwe. Ke ha a se mo lene le mo profit. Ke ha go to the man of God from the previous church that I was attending at was actually a prophet. And he would say that uh, as the people who, who were going to leave the church would suffer. And he would say that for his spirit to work, he had to sleep with women. There is one evangelist there who sometimes said that he used to come here to Raboni and then he would say that he's going to South Africa to collect powers. And that really hurt me a lot because I had already Pastor Lesiho, I had already met Pastor Lesiho at a crusade in Mangkot. Uh, then I decided that I need to come and confess because I was seeing people confessing and their lives were being changed. And then this other man said to me that he also came and confessed and that he said he must read Galatians 6. Then he said for him, he thinks that uh, confessions is actually to destroy other people's lives. So, confess so I became confused that if confession is supposed to deliver us, why is it now binding us? So we are talking about me and you. Is that all? If we are casting the key back in the house, call up again. Now, give me a little bit of help. Give me a little bit of help. Give me a little bit of help. So now my mind was now confused. I didn't know what to do. I would watch TV, but I'll be confused on where to go. Uh, mm, connection Bad connection and offense affected my life a lot. Every time when I dream, it's all bad dreams. It also affected my children. One of them actually dropped out of school and is just staying out in the streets. He no longer stays at home. The second one is very sick. He's got arthritis, epilepsy, and also a lot of fatigue. Uh, and 
the same one who is sick also is blind and then the doctor say that the the bones on on uh, her hips there is friction there and for them to do the operation she need to be 40 and at the moment she's only 21 wa boraru o ngwagatse le somele bongwe mme o rotela dikobo the third one is 11 years old but is still a uh, bed wetting o o monyane o 80 o ngwagatse 80 mo gana go kwala go sekoleng bana ba botlhela go sekoleng ga ba dire sentwa wa wa second bone o tsa you ungraded o mongwe o ga kwala go sekoleng bile matsharo se ba ipotsa gore ba dire yang ka yena the last one who is eight years old doesn't even write at school. Even the teachers now don't know what to do with him. The, the second born, when we are watching Raboni TV, would be complaining that Pastor is, your, your pastor is preaching for a long time, he's not finishing. She would also say that since you started attending these Christian churches and left the traditional ones, things are not going well for you. You don't even have money. And even in my family, they would also ask me, when is your God going to answer you because all your children are suffering? They would also say, you are busy going to your churches. We worship the ancestors and the ancestors hear us. So, some of them, my Madi, can I let you call or to her letter? Didn't see Hanky can Nala Mad. I've got a lot of debts, I never keep money. Go to Ronka, Beraka, can I listen to the water, seventeen in Saka Beraka, Mehaki promote to Haki Swiss Colo, came a hell of a long way. I am working and it's been seventeen years and I never get any promotion or get any cost to uh, advance myself. Even my spiritual life has been affected. I am no longer able to fast like I used to do, and also even to pray is also difficult. I always dream of dead people and also the past churches where I used to attend. Bad connection le offense ya affecti le ya mi le murutu one ke wa ke re ke ne ke zena. Bad connection and offense also affected that pastor where I used to attend. Because his marriage was affected and also a lot of people left and his finances were also affected as a result. So ke go pa modimo gore a in tsharela ka gore na ke thola ke bua ka bana ba modimo ba ngwe ke ga go bua ka bona ke ba emela so I would like God to forgive me because I used to speak uh, bad about other men of God. Some I would defend them and I would speak about their anointings. Uh, the, the other thing that offended me was actually an issue where they were speaking bad about the man of God, so I was defending him, and it was my grandchild.
in that issue, they were suspecting that the pastor's wife would have been killed. So every time when I would get to work, they would say your pastor and your grandchild has killed the pastor's wife and it, it would offend me. So so would like God to forgive me for the offense and for everything that I might have said against the man of God and may God forgive me for all the things that I forgot to mention. And I'm also asking for God to forgive me also for the people that I prayed for and they were not even healed. So I pray that may God also touch them. So, so I'm actually afraid to invite people to come to church because I'm afraid that they will experience things there and end up being offended. I'm also waiting for God to direct me to which church I should go to. God loves you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. I forgive you. Every demon, every demon raised by offense, every demon raised by offense and wrong connection. Giant demon in family. <laughs> you giant demon in a family, you are no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand up. God is with you, ne? 
I forgive you. The spirit of Christ forgives you. Ne? You're free. God loves you. God loves you. Let's go for Jesus. <laughs> Viewers watching all over the world, we thank you for tuning in. We thank God for giving us light. Because without his light, we cannot see or search the unsearchable. God is here to remove everything that hinders us, everything hidden in your life. Right now, I'm going to minister to you. We thank God for teaching us with this confessions. We thank God for teaching us more. Second Timothy chapter, first Timothy chapter five, first Timothy chapter five, from verse 22, it says, do not be hasty in laying on of hands, lest you share one another's sins. Through the laying on of hands, through speaking, through teaching, one can receive attachments. It's time to receive pure word from God, an adulterated word from above to bless people. The main, of God, the main aim of God is to develop and not to destroy. Let us develop with purity. Let us all come together and know that God is assembling us. That's why we are called assemblies. And assembly is something that has been taken from below and taken to the top. God is here to bless us together. Right now, I'm going to minister to you. God is here to bless you. God is here to raise you up. The word of the Lord has come wherever you are to bless you. As the centurion said, just say the word and my servant will be healed. The word of the Lord has come to set you free, to take away every evil, to remove every attachment in your life. Everything shared with you that is not of God, I command it to leave it now. I command it to go, I command it to go. Those who are affected in the mind, I command that spirit to leave your mind. Those who are affected in the mind, I command that spirit to go. Those who are affected in the mind through wrong information, through wrong characters and everything, I command that evil to depart from my life. I disconnect you from those attachments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that to leave you. Every evil, every darkness will command to go. Every sickness will command to go. Every sickness will command to go. I can see that someone right now, you have been spoken to. You have been given a lie and you are affected in your mouth. You are affected in your mouth. The top part of your mouth cannot function correctly. You feel pains there and it affected your teeth. It affected your gums. I command that evil to leave you right now. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. I remove that attachment from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are affected with lust, I command the spirit to leave you. I command the darkness to go. I command that evil to leave you completely in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord has come to sanctify you, to clear everything that is against you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are affected financially, I command that attachment to leave you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command that attachment to go in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command that evil to depart from your life in Jesus' name. Spirit husband, I command you to go. Spiritual husband, I command you to go. Spiritual wife, I command you to go. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. Get out in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of a snake to depart from your life. Your spirit of a snake, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. You evil that causes sickness, you disease giver, I command you to leave them. I command you to leave them. I command you to leave them. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord has come to sanctify you, to destroy all evil, to remove every attachment given unto you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even everything that I have not mentioned, the word of the Lord has come to cover and destroy everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the centurion said, just say the word and my servant will be healed. The word of the Lord has come. You are healed. You are delivered. You are made whole. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to test yourself. Those who are walking with crushes, begin to test yourself. Those who are on the sick bed, begin to stand and walk. Those who are suffering with blindness, begin to check yourself. God is blessing you right now. Those who could not hear, God is blessing you. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are suffering with any form of sickness, the Lord has blessed you right now. And I declare you blessed in Jesus' name. Do send in your testimonies. The Lord has blessed you right now from the top of your head to the soul of your feet. I declare you blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
We have come to the end of this program. On Tuesday, we'll be having our service again, starting from 8. You will watch the reprogrest of Tuesday. But on Thursday, during the war against drug addiction, we'll be having our live service together with Friday. Friday school will be together here. Let us watch and enjoy what the Lord is doing. Let us join hands and pray together and bless our nations. Let's bring them to the Lord. When one grain dies, it produces many. Jesus went to the cross to produce many. Let us come together as one to produce others. Things that are hidden belong to God. Things revealed belong to us. Let us reveal them to our generations to come. Let us reveal the truth. Let us reveal purity unto them to serve God with such purity. I thank you for tuning in. Let us come together. Thank you. We love you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you. Amen. <laughs>